Hi guys! So I get a lot of questions from my family and friends about my makeup. The two biggest things I get asked is what foundation I wear and what I use to apply it. So three things. One, if you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with YouTube. <laughs> Two, I love makeup. And three, I love sharing the tips and tricks I've learned with makeup. With that, let's get right into this and I'm gonna show you my foundation routine. When applying makeup, it's really important to start off with a clean face and it's even more important to start off with a moisturized face. So I always do this right when I get out of the shower just so that that moisturizer has time to sink into my skin. So today I'm gonna apply a couple different primers. This one is for moisturizing the skin and locking in that makeup. So I'm just going to apply that where I'm most dry, which is on my cheeks and my forehead. Next, I'm going to take this primer from Smashbox to control the oil on my T-zone and also under my eyes. This is L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade N2. It's one of my favorite foundations, whether high-end or drugstore. I love the natural finish and the fact that it's medium to full coverage. I almost always go for medium to full coverage, more so full coverage foundations, mainly because of my redness on my cheeks. I'm going to blend in that foundation using a sponge from Real Techniques, and you want to get this sponge soaking wet and then wring it out completely so that the sponge is just damp and then you're just gonna bounce it on your face, blending in that foundation. This is my favorite way to apply foundation because it just leaves your skin looking flawless. Like it just melts that foundation right into your skin. And in my opinion, it's just a better outcome than using a brush. And I am a little bit darker than this shade right now that I'm using, so it does look a little white on me today, but that's nothing a little bronzer can't fix, it's all good. And here I'm just taking some rose water just to spray my sponge and get it a little more wet. Now I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light, putting it under my eyes to conceal the dark circles, and I'm also going to take it down the center of my face to add more coverage and to brighten up the center of my face. I also apply concealer down here and I do this to make my bronzer that I'm going to apply above it pop. It kind of creates almost a contoured effect. And then I use the same sponge from Real Techniques to blend that all in. Now I'm going to lock all that liquid in place with some setting powder from RCMA and I'm going to use this brush from Real Techniques. Since I'm not focusing on eyeshadow today, I'm just going to go off camera and apply that. I forgot to set the rest of my face with powder so that's what I'm doing right here. Now that technically completes my foundation routine, but I thought I would show you guys how I add some color back into my face. Now I'm going to apply some bronzer with this Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm going to use Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and using the yellow shade, I think it's Lyric. And as you can see, I really like that powder. I'm using it to brighten up underneath my eyes and anywhere else I concealed. Still taking that same powder and I'm putting it near my jawline, right under my bronzer, just to make it pop. And this way, I don't feel like I have to contour, I just feel like this creates that contoured effect. And now for blush, I'm taking this stippling brush from Real Techniques, and I'm using the shade Romantic Rose from Milani. And now I'm going to highlight using this highlighter from Jouer Cosmetics in the shade Citrine. And I will do so using this Morphe M510.
And in case anyone's interested, I just wanted to show what I used for my lips. It's a lip liner from Milani in the shade Spice, and then a lipstick in the shade Raw Chocolate from Maybelline. And then to finish off the look, I always spray my face with rose water. I just love how it makes it look at the end. Just makes you look not so powdery and it just sinks the makeup right into your skin. Alright guys, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, I have a little visitor. Say hi! in my next video why did I do that <laughs> okay no mm -mm. no <laughs>